We just thank God. We just thank God for this time and this fellowship today. And I, I just give you awesome praise, Lord. Awesome praise for what you're gathering and what you're doing as you unite the body. Unite the body. Bring them all. Bring us all together as one. And a, a special time we're going to spend right now with our, with our friend Mary Edwards. And I just thank God for you. We go back. I don't even know how far back oh, we go. Oh, 30 years. Man, probably I mean, 30 years, John. Praise God. You know, I was talking with someone on the phone today, and, and he says, Mary Edwards, he says, I say, yeah, joy of Jesus. He said, I gave them a Mercedes years ago. A he, Mercedes? Yeah, a long time ago, way back Whoa. when you were talking about, you know. But, but anyway, our God is good. You, well, you've been around. Oh, I've been around for decades. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, everybody I see now say, oh, I knew you 30 years ago. I've known you mm -hmm. like at least 30 at years. Least, at least. Our God is good. So, so what good. have you done? Where are you going? And what oh, you playing? wow, Praise John. God. Well, to begin with, let me just say that I have moved four times in 13 months. Whoa. But every move has been better than the last. Okay. And now I've made a full circle. And just to tell you a little bit, when I left Detroit in, uh, a year ago in June, okay. I thought I was going to go leave for a month mm -hmm. because I was waiting on, uh, a, on a condo to get ready that was going to be called Legacy. And wow. legacy is really what I'm about now. I've done a lot of works, and now that I'm older and I'm settled and, you know, slow down just a little bit, I, I'm realizing a, that what we're doing is living to leave a legacy. Wow. And I have an acronym for that, Leaving Every Generation, a Chronicle of You. Again. Leaving Every Generation, a Chronicle okay. of You. And a chronicle is a story. Okay. And a lot of people know me as an author and a writer and an editor and a publisher. Mm -hmm. And people say, what do you do? I say, I'm a bookie. I'm, I do books. books. Books is what I do. Books. So when I left here, I thought I was coming back in a month. Mm -hmm. And I, I had to leave where I was. My time was up there. Mm -hmm. So I moved to Ypsilanti okay. and um, thinking I was going to come back to Detroit in a month. Well, that didn't happen because the condo didn't get ready. In the meantime, and this was the leading of the Lord, sometimes we just don't know where we're going until we keep putting one foot in front of the other, and then we get there, right? right. Like you told yeah. Abraham, yeah. Yeah. you'll know when you get there. Yep. So when I got to Ypsilanti, like right away, I just fell in love with the peace and the quiet, the okay. countryside. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't even real country. Um, but I moved there with a friend of mine, Dr. Debbie Mitchell, lives in Ypsilanti, and she took me in. Okay. And um, I said, oh, I said that I just love this peace and quiet. So I decided, I decided I was going to get a condo in Ann Arbor, which is mm -hmm. Ypsilanti, Ann Arbor mm -hmm. area. And it was still the leading of the Lord, but I didn't know it. I got to Ann Arbor, and people there that knew me and knew the work, uh, from the University of Michigan contacted me okay. and they wanted to put Reverend Edwards uh, papers in the legacy library and I said okay. I heard legacy yes so mm -hmm. I've spent time pulling papers from Joy of Jesus Ministries okay. he was the founder uh, of Joy of Jesus Ministry I spent time pulling those papers together for the university and I was there for in Ann Arbor for a couple months and it was just so expensive I really honestly couldn't afford to stay there okay. so my sister-in-law she says, well, I have this property. She has 14 acres in the real country, John, real, mm -hmm. very rural. You have to drive, get in your car, and drive to the mailbox to get your mail. Okay. They don't sl put it in a slot in the door. You get in your car and drive to the road. Okay. And so uh, she said, come out here. You don't need to be struggling. Come out here. And, um, and, and she's a widow, too, and we've mm -hmm. been friends for 50 years. Mm -hmm. And so I moved to Carlton, Michigan. A lot of people don't know where that is, but it's in between Belleville and Monroe. Okay. So I moved to Carlton with her, got so relaxed and really enjoying the llamas and the sheep and the goats and the cows and the chickens and the horses and the birds. And they whistle at you every morning, you know, and I said, oh, I like this. So I stayed there for seven months. And one day the Lord said, okay, your sabbatical is up. Mm -hmm. I'm going sabbatical, Lord. I've been working hard every day on my books, mm -hmm. which is what I really love to do. And so he said, yes, you've been working on your books, and that's a gift from me, and I'm happy with it, but that's my acceptable will. Okay. It's not my perfect will, my acceptable will. He said, 
what I want you to do is resurrect the widow's ministry, which is what I did when Reverend Edwards, and by the way, two days from now would be the 10th anniversary of his wow. home, home going. Ten July 25th, 2004, 2004, he left here. And the Lord, and I did, I started the ministry, John, one month after he passed because I didn't know what to do. And it, I'm it's a- It's really, you know, it's really, initially, mm -hmm. you and our brother Eddie were repairing houses. <laughs> yes. And now you're repairing lives. Lives, oh, widows, I, widows, yeah, yeah, widows. Yeah, such a big calling, such a, mm -hmm. an awesome calling. Nobody realizes about the, well, somewhere in here it says you're supposed to take care of the widows. James 1.26 that says pure religion and okay. undefiled before God is to care for the widows and the orphans. Okay, James so, so how do you reach the widows? So, uh, let me just say this, that um, sad to say, and this is based on, I've ministered now to hundreds of widows, mm -hmm. that the church itself is not really rising to the occasion. Mm -hmm. Because when widows contact me, and I have a wonderful website, widowswithwisdom.org. Widowswithwisdom.org. With org. That's okay. our website, and there's plenty okay. of really, really good information on there. I started that right away. Okay. And when they come to me, the first thing I ask them is, does your church have a widow's ministry? Mm -hmm. And they say, no, that we don't have it in our church. And what they do, John, is they put us in, us widows, they put us in with the single and the divorced people. And, and, and we don't fit. We're special needs. Even my own church, we have a bereavement ministry, mm -hmm. but we don't have, and a bereavement can be loss of job, loss of limb, you know, mm -hmm. um, loss of joy, you know, you're just lost. And they put us in the widows with this group of bereaved people, and they're not meeting our specific needs. I just had, had a thought, and you know, I'm just, what about like if a church desires to do seminars mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. have you come in and do seminar for the, for the widows, yes. is that what you want? Is That's that, what I want. That? What I would love to do, and I've already started some of this across the country, okay. is um, teach them how to minister to their own widows okay. in their own church. I had a call from Miami uh, within the last few weeks, and she says, I, I'm an elder in my church, and we have 75 widows, but no widows ministry. And she's, they told her to start it. And she says, I have, she's a widow too. She said, I have no idea where to start. So she went on looking for Christian widow support group. And it's okay. hard to find a Christian widow okay. support group. And um, so she contacted me, and she, I have books and tapes and mes messages uh, on the website. And so she said, I really need you to help me get started in my church. And then two days later, I had another call from Alana. Same thing. She's a widow. They have nothing in her church, and she's in a large church, but they have what they call bereavement. But widows are a special needs group. And it's like, what do I do with his clothes? You know, when I, what should I move? Um, what about dating eventually? You know, you get around to that. And how do I preserve his memory? These are things that are special uh, for, to that widow. I, I, just pr I just pray that, that you out there, that the church leaders hear your heart. Please. I pray that the church leaders hear his heart. Yes. I pray that the church leaders. What is your website again? Please. Uh, widowswithwisdom.org. Widowswithwisdom.org. And what I really want to do, John, is I need to find, I have a lot of widows in the group. Okay. But they can minister mm -hmm. because many of them were pastors' wives. And many of them are widows themselves and they're chaplains. But I need administration help, too. Okay. You know, a lot of people know how to pray with you, but do they know how to write a letter? Or do they know how to find funding? So right now, I want to get, a, I, I need a 501c3 okay. for a nonprofit for the mm -hmm. Widow's Ministry, but I have to have three officers. I need a treasurer and a secretary and a vice president. Okay. I need assistance because this is how I got burned out before. Okay. 
trying to do it all by myself and I couldn't. Okay, but no, it's what a about great your, need. What about your writing? Your mm -hmm. writing. Your, okay. You, well, I have a book. Something separate? No. Yes, that's separate. Okay. Uh, it's called Leaves of Gold. Uh, Leaves of Gold Consulting is my writing ministry. Okay. And I have eight of my own books and hundreds of books I've edited for other people. And I'm a book coach. I teach people how to write books. And that's my real favorite thing to do. Okay. Um, that's how I, um, and, and that helps to support me as a widow too. Mm -hmm. But I also have materials for widows I have a book called transition from widowhood to womanhood and wow. someone said Mary we always been women I said yes that's true but you know I'll tell you this a lot of women after they lose their husband they don't know who they are they don't know God has a call on your life Mm -hmm. Yes, before you were a helpmate to your spouse, but God has called all of us for a specific purpose. Amen? Yes. And something, now he's gone, but you're still here. What is it that you're supposed to do mm -hmm. th and in your, with your life? And so this is uh, really about helping women identify the call that they have on their life. Fortunate for me, even though I was a helper to my husband, Reverend Edwards, Joy of Jesus Ministry, I've always been a writer. So okay. I've always, so I went back to that, mm -hmm. and then I started helping others write their books. But true religion is really to care for the widows and the orphans, and it's such a great need, John. What about the spiritual blockage, like, mm -hmm. like you know, the soul tie, if you would? Oh, my be goodness. Be between the, the, the widow and the, the husband? Yes. And the, the and holding on to the Coco oh. husband, the holding on to... Never yes, mind. I know what you're talking about because I see so much of this, John, and it grieves me because I can call a widow who still has her husband answering the phone and he's been dead for five years. Hello, you know, this is the Jones residence, and I'm going like, that's her husband. He's, got, he's not here anymore. Or they'll keep his clothes. They won't, you know. And it's really building up a shrine. They mm -hmm. don't want to let it go. And then there's, there's issues. And I want to say this. As I was driving here, I was thinking about what I was going to say, and the Lord told me to say this. So many of um, the widows I have ministered to are still grieving. And what I have come to find out after dialogue with them mm -hmm. is they have unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have that. Fortunately, when Reverend Edwards passed, um, I was at his bedside. I, I thanked him. For okay. all the things that he had done for me and others, my family and the, the community, mm -hmm. I thanked him for everything that he had done for me. And you know what else I did? I forgave him for the things he should have did that he didn't do. Mm -hmm. So when he left, I had no unfinished business. Wow. But there are women, I find that those that grieve the longest, whether it's a spouse or whether it's a child or a parent, is unfinished business. Recently, my pastor, um, I, I'm attending um, um, New Prospect Missionary Baptist okay. Church, uh, Pastor Wilma Johnson. Mm -hmm. She gave a message the other day, and she said, if you knew that you only had one day left to, to live, mm -hmm. what's the one thing that you would do? And what I would say, whether it's a spouse or a, or a child or a mate, is find out if you have any unfinished business and take care of it before it's too late. Break the soul tie, because if you don't, you're gonna carry that on to the grave, and you will never, ever be able to fulfill God's call on your life. And that would be a terrible loss. Mary, I just wanna do that right now. Right L now. Let's pray, Let, okay. let's pray. Sure. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, oh. Father God. We're reaching out right now to the widows, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and we just thank you. We break, we break the soul tie. Right we now. break in the, the soul tie Jesus. in the name of Jesus. And, and scripturally, mm -hmm. for those who desire to see it, when, 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 when Jacob lost Rachel, when Jacob yes, lost yes, Rachel, yes. He, he put a, a pile of stones upon Rachel's grave. And then the next verse says, now Israel moved on. Israel was in sign. Yes. was the spirit man inside of Jacob but the spirit man could not move on until he buried the past you bury the past and we, we cancel all soul ties from the, the past in the Jesus. name of Jesus right we bury the past in we the let the, the, the we be bury the past let the past be gone in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth that your inner man your inner calling your inner gift can come forth that your Israel can really come forth that your Israel can come forth right now in the name of Jesus we pray that that the wills be set free from free. from 
free from, from soul ties from the past, from the soul ties from the past. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And we, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 32, the Genesis 35. Is it Jacob. Inside of Jacob was Israel. And, and Israel, but Israel could not come forth until Jacob was buried. Bury the stones on top of Rachel's grave. It's, it's, it's over. It's done. Move on. Move on. I, I just, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank I, I, you, Father. You know, we, we don't have a planned schedule. We, we just do it by the Holy thank Spirit. You, but I, it's so vital. It's so it vital. It's so vital to anyone who's had any loss, any loss, the, any loss, that soul ties be broken. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. You know, I think of that scripture, was it in Joshua, where, jo where God told Joshua, said, my servant Moses is dead. Mm. Yeah. And he had to pick up and carry on. And what I'm doing now, yes, uh, my dear husband, Reverend Edwards, left a wonderful uh, 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 memorial and, mm -hmm. and the work that he did. But I'm putting that in the university where it will be available to anyone that wants to start a community outreach or a work for children. But I have to move on with my life mm -hmm. because God has given me writing to do okay. and, and carrying the word out because I'm about leaving a legacy, leaving every generation a chronicle of you. And we have to tell the story for our children and our children's children. My granddaughter is a little writer, too, and uh, she's only 13, has three books, and one of them is in the White House already. That's that young legacy, mm -hmm. and I have taught her the importance at an early age of leaving a legacy. Mm -hmm. On my website, uh, Widows with Wisdom, or is it Leaves of Gold? I can't remember which one, but I talk about the importance of leaving a legacy because we all have a story to tell. I remember when Reverend Edwards' grandmother was aged and she had started losing her memory, John. Mm -hmm. she, uh, the only day that she remembered was Sunday mm -hmm. and because Mary and Eddie were coming over with the tape recorder. Okay. And I would ask her to re tell us as much as you can recall about coming here from down south with two children to start a new life. Mm -hmm. And one day she said to me, if I had known you were going to ask me so many questions, I would have tried to remember more. Well. People have to know that they have something valuable to leave behind. And if people don't know uh, where they came from, they don't really know who they are. I, I, I don't know how well, how, how well that, the, the message that you're saying is being received by the, by the church leaders, but I'm urging you that, that have leadership positions in the church Please. to hear this woman's heart, to hear the heart of widows, to hear the, the heart of the gospel. You must take care of the widows and orphans. You must take, do that. And, and, and you will do counseling at different churches and travel and teach them and, and, and find someone in the church to run the program. Yes. Not her program, no. God's Your program. Own. But what he called it ordained to do. And she's just giving you a roadmap for it. A I have a, for it. John, I have a widow that I've never met her. Okay. Eight years on okay. the internet. Okay. She lives in Louisiana and she has started her widow's ministry and it's called Well. Whittles Enjoying Long Life, Okay. W-E-L-L. -L. Okay. And I've never met her. Isn't the internet a wonderful thing? Yes. How we can reach thousands and thousands and millions of mm -hmm. people just okay. by sitting here having a conversation. Right. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it, it is. is. Now, you travel now? I'm traveling. I'm scheduled to go to Atlanta. I have a widow there that wants to start a widow's ministry. Okay. And she has, and this is an interesting thing, and I need much prayer. Okay. Because God has not just called me to the widows, but he's called me to mentally challenge people. Okay. By the way, I have written my autobiography called Born Grown. Mm -hmm. Born Grown, and it deals with many issues. It deals a lot with the ministry, but it also deals a lot with my personal life. And maybe some of you m remember Mort Krim. He used yeah. to be, oh, yeah. Well, he endorses all of my books. And he, he, uh, he says, in this book, I spilled my guts, which I did. <laughs> I told it all, and, and I told a lot about my family history. And some of it, you know, I'm not proud of, mm -hmm. but it has to be told, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you mm -hmm. know, because this helps our children understand how they can avoid some of the pitfalls that we fell into, mm -hmm. the older generation. And so I am going to Atlanta uh, in August to help there with a young lady that she has a ministry for mentally challenged people. Okay. And she says a lot of the people in her ministry are widows. Hmm. And so here's people with two challenges, widowhood and mental issues. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of work out here. 
Yes. What does it say? I, the harvest is ripe, but the laborers are few. A word of caution. A word of caution is that you, in the audience that are widows and would, li and would like to do this, do it under the sanction of the church. Yes, absolutely. Do, because otherwise you cause a separation. Yes, yes. Your ministry and the church ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, teach the pastor to, yes. or show the pastor how to do this. And mm -hmm. then let the pastor, let that church sponsor the program. There you go. And, right? My, my church, uh, New Prospect, fully okay. sponsors, uh, uh, recognizes my work. Okay. And we have all our meetings there. Yeah, so because we don't want division in the church. No, absolutely not. Because the gifts are given to the church. For the, and even laymen can do what we do. You mm -hmm. know, it doesn't even just, you know, in the church. In the church. In lay people. I just finished uh, editing a dissertation for someone who's emphasizing the need for lay people Okay. To, in the church to learn how to be caregivers. Okay, we can God. all do that, John. So what are some of the other books you've done besides well, the widows? You mainly concentrate right now on the widows? Well, That's right now as the Lord, yes. Uh, widows is called Transition from Widowhood to Womanhood. Okay. Then my autobiography. Um, uh, I have several books. I used to write for the Michigan Chronicle about 15 years. So I took a lot of my spiritual columns, which was a blessing, John, to be able to have a spiritual column in a, a secular newspaper. Okay. So I took a lot of my columns from the Chronicle, and I made three of my books. It's a series. Mm -hmm. It's called At His Feet. Mary Said At His Feet. Okay. Ponderings from the Heart of Mary. Mary pondered these things in her heart. Mm -hmm. And then Overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. Uh, okay. Mary was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. So that's my Mary series. Mm -hmm. But I'm available to anyone out there. And, some, and I have a writer's guild, too, uh, that I started 15 years ago. Okay. Uh, the Called and Ready Writers. And we have a website. And people that come to us, they don't know if they can write a paragraph. They end up writing two and three books, John because I show them how to get into it. I also write, uh, recruit writers for Chicken Soup for the Soul books. Mm, so awesome. I'm really about books, you know, I do books. And you can too, those of you who are listening today, everyone has a story to tell. And I wanna help you tell it. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a story to tell. But I really, my heart is just going out for those widows. Oh, just, yes. It's just such an awesome. That's why I'm here. Out of obedience, the Lord said, get back, my perfect will. Mm -hmm. is to care for the widows and the orphans. And you know, Joy of Jesus did that for years, took care of the, the orphans through the Joy of Jesus camp. Many of those kids that went to camp never had mm -hmm. a summer vacation until they went to Joy of Jesus I camp. Remember. When I was on one phone this morning, and he says, Mary Edwards, he says, way back when, he sat next to the late uh, Eddie, and uh, he, just, he said, I didn't know he was the speaker. I didn't know he was the speaker. And the next thing you know, he said, I, Gave them a, it was a Mercedes. He said, really? really? Yeah. I know we were given a lot of cars through yeah. Charity Motors. You yeah, know, well that's probably how it, it came maybe through Charity Motors. Yes. I really don't know. Well, but see, you're, you're see, it's when such I, a gift. When I get my nonprofit for the widows, people will be able to give us cars. Such, such a gift. Well, yeah, they can still <laughs> give it to you. Hallelujah. Let God, let yeah, God amen, bless them. Amen. Let I God like bless that. them. Amen. Let God be the multiplier. <laughs> let let God the God do be it. the multiplier. Amen. Thank you, I Heavenly love Father. the Lord. We just give you, Heavenly Father, we Thank just give you. you all the praise. We just give you all the praise for what you've done, what you're about to do, Lord. And we just thank you. We, we just thank you, Father God, for everything, for everything in this program, thank for you, everything that, that Mary is doing, and Mary, mm -hmm. as Sister Edwards is doing. And I just thank God for you. I bless you. I bless your ministry. I bless all those that, that are listening to this program. I bless thank every Lord. household thank represented you, here, Father God. I just thank you. I just thank a special blessing upon upon the widows right now that they hear the, the message, they hear the heart, and they hear the compassion of the, of this vessel, Father God. And I speak and again, again, I am speaking Jesus. to the pastors, to the leaders of the, of the church, that you get in touch with Mary, that you establish a, a widow's group, in, in widow's group, yes. inside of yes. your church, church, inside of your church. Let it be part of the church, not a separate entity within the church, but part of the church. That there not be any division in the church. The Bible says that the gifts are given to the yes, church to for the, the church. edifying of the body. Yes. And many times, many times gifts yes, are given to yes. the church, but the pastors do not recognize the gifts. Yes, and if they don't recognize the gift, and the gift feels so frustrated that the gift wants to move on. And they want to move on because they 
want to use the gift that God has given them. And, you, and I'm speaking to those gifts, so, to those gifts, to so those you, gifts. Jesus. If you have a desire, a desire to write, if Thank that's you, the Lord. gift inside of you, if you have a desire to head up a woman's ministry, a widow's ministry, please contact Mary Edwards. Do it and do it now. And I, I just thank God. I just thank God for all you've done, all you've done. And I, I just bless you. I bless you in the name of Yeshua. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I know, Father God, that there, there's power. There's power in the airways. There's power Jesus, on the internet, Father you, God. But, but it has to be done in obedience. Let, let the church leaders be obedient. Thank obedient you, to this heart, to this heart, to the, hear the heart of this vessel. Hear the heart of this vessel, Father God. And we just thank you. We just thank you for time. We thank you for fellowship. We thank you for Lord. ministering to your people. And we just thank you. If you have a desire to write again, contact Mary. You have me a gift inside of you. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth through lease of gold. Bring it forth through, through the widow's ministry. Bring it forth. Let, the, let your gift, the ex examples of what God can do if you get out of the way. You get out of the way and let your gift, let your gift overshadow your ministry. I just bless you. I just bless you, Mary, and all your loved ones in the mighty name of Thank Jesus. You, and I, I'm excited because I, I see so many times. I see, uh, I see so many times where people are hurting mm -hmm. because they haven't released. Yes, they I haven't business. released. They, they, they have over. to release. I got. They have to release. I speak breaking of all ungodly soul ties and even godly Jesus. soul ties from the past that you can move Thank on you, and be the people of God that God's called you to be. And we bless you. Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you in the mighty in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And we just thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We just thank you from from widows to womanhood. Right? <laughs> yeah, that, you got that, it. Got it. Good. Yeah, you got it. Hallelujah. You got it. Praise yes. God. Yes. Transition. <laughs> Transition. Transition. There's a transition. There's a transition that happens every day. Every day there's a transition. Every day there's a transition. You know, people are looking for a revival. There ain't gonna be no revival. It's gonna be transformation. It's gonna be a trans. Ooh. Yes. Forget the revival. In order to have a revival, something has to be dead. Yes. In order to have revival, you got to die. You want yes. a revival, you got to be dead. You got to be dead. So die to self, and then God can raise you up, That's, resurrect that whoa. gift inside yes, of you. And I, I just thank God. I thank God so much for you. So much for I you, Mary Edwards. For you. So much for you. Thank and you I bless you in your life. ministry. And I speak you. abundance of calls, abundance of appointments, abundance of seminars that you do what God called you to do it and set the captives free. Thank They're you. held captive by themselves. Thank you. I love you, John. Thank love you, you much. For They're your held prayer. captives by yourself. Yes, Lord. No one's held them you captive. You're holding yourself captive. Yes, yes. And we yes. free you this Thank day you. In, in the mighty name, name of Jesus. In Jesus' name Hallelujah. we pray. Thank you, Father. For showing Thank up. Thank you. Lord. Thank you for Thank all you're you doing. For showing up. All you've done. All you're about to do. Yes, Lord. Through this Thank ministry. You, Lord. Through this ministry. Contact Mary Edwards. Lord. And I just thank you for you. Thank, thank God for thank you. you so such much. a blessing. You, such a blessing. You, My God, you. such a blessing. The Lord bless you and your household too. Thank you. Thank Amen. you much. Amen. Thank you. Father Amen. God, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you for all you're doing, all you've done, and all How you've done. Great thou art, oh God. Through this audience, through this thank audience, through this audience. Be Lord obedient to God. Jesus. Be obedient to God. Be I feel obedient your presence, and I thank him. you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, Our what a God blessing. Awesome. What a blessing. Awesome. What a blessing. Awesome. Awesome. God is using mm. you in a great and a mighty way, John. Thank May you. the Spirit of the Lord be a, continue to be thank upon you. you. And just know you have a